Here is a 3D model of an actual tool and die shop. It's a 20,000 square foot facility employing 25 workers building precision progressive dies. By using animation, we can follow each step in the manufacture of 10 die cutting steels. This video shows the current state batch and queue manufacturing method used in most tool and die shops today. Batch and queue processing is very wasteful in labor cost and delivery time. To compare with this method, simulations of future state higher level processes will be created and analyzed to quantify the return on investment before incurring any labor costs and without the disruptions caused when machines are relocated or new equipment is installed. In the upper right corner of the screen, we have created a clock to show accumulated process time and a calendar to show elapsed time. These are not functional here, but final simulations will capture and display actual physical data. The first step is delivery of die drawings to the die maker. He separates the drawings into individual sketches for machinists to make. In the upper left corner is a raw block of material which will change shape at each operation. The machinist must first find a die cart to move the blocks around the shop. He will do this again and again because there are delays between process steps so they are stored from a few hours or days to even weeks at a time. Machinist moves the cart over to the steel receiving rack where he places the raw materials on the die cart. He also counts them and verifies that the material specification, job and detail numbers are correct. Next he takes them to the first machine, a manual CNC mill with a pendant for input where he will spot drill all the holes. Notice that every block waits while each of the others is being processed. This is very wasteful. In the upper left, you see the block showing the spot drilling. Then he moves the cart to a storage table. Then someone says, hey, we better get that job moving again. The blocks now go to the radial drill, where the machinist drills, counterbores, taps, reams, and chamfers the holes. The blocks are now taken to the heat treat pickup table. They go out and come back 24 hours later in a hardened condition. A key benefit of animation technology is that it exposes excessive material transport and repeated material handling and movement by people. Once exposed, these wasteful activities can be minimized, resulting in shorter lead times and lower labor costs. Level 2 flow production eliminates most of this waste. The hardened blocks go to the grinding room next, where the top and bottom are ground to be flat and parallel, because the following processes require this. In all these steps, every block waits while nine others are being processed. Waiting is waste. Next stop is the wire EDM room. Each block is programmed and wire burned complete. Notice in the upper left corner of the screen, the block profile and holes have been burned. The blocks now move to the glass beater for a surface treatment. This process is done manually because it requires judgment of a skilled operator. The next step is grinding shear to reduce the cutting forces in the die. This requires a special setup which takes extra time by the machinist. The honing process makes the dowel holes true. The now completed blocks go to the die maker in the back bay die assembly area. This concludes the level 1 batch and queue process animation. Future animations will consist of raising the processes to higher levels of manufacturing sophistication, the level 2 flow process, level 3 cellular manufacturing, and level 4 high-speed pallet changing CNC equipment. Typical level 4 results reduce the cost by 75 percent and lead times by up to 90 percent. Discrete event simulation, animation, and virtual reality can bring the lean die factory system to life in your shop. 
imagine competing head-on with the low labor cost countries and winning.